for early 2000s fatal. Uh, and that's and that's really what we, we expect. I, I, it may not be that way, and it'd be a shame if he's not. Starting the career 31 and 1, one of the most storied runs we have ever seen in MMA. You know, believe it or not, I, yeah, I, I should always go with Fader, but you're right. He's not the Fader anymore from 10 years ago, and we can see that in his last fights. And I have to say, with Mitrione, he's on, man. This guy always goes for the knockout. I mean, from his 11 wins, 10 knockouts. I mean, he, yeah. the, only one fight went to a decision. On the other side, of course, his losses is the same deal. He's got two knockouts and two submissions. So if somebody's good everywhere, it's Fader Emelianenko. And I think that Fader is going to shoot. He's going he's to counter, but right away he's going to go for a thing. If he's smart, if he's an ego that pops up and that will tell him, hey, maybe you can you can knock him out as well. I don't think it's a smart thing to do. I think uh, Mitrione is, an, uh, is a very dangerous opponent, has some great power in his hands and, and could wrap it up when he connects. But I, I just want to remember Fedor the way, you know, he was on that legendary run. And I think with each of these fights, even if he wins, what if he doesn't look good? You know, are we just going to remember? It's like you want to remember your heroes the way they, they were, not are.